Welcome back, or shall I say, welcome home to Celebrity Cruises from Port Tampa Bay. We are about to embark on a celebrity constellation. This is a five night cruise sailing to Cozumel and Belize City with two sea days in the mix to make it super relaxing. Throughout this vlog series, we will explore the ship, review and share all the different aspects from the entertainment, the food, the nightlife and more. A special thank you to Celebrity for having us. If you're planning a cruise on a Celebrity Constellation, have a specific question for me, want to know more, drop a comment down below and I'll tell you even more about what it's like to sail out of this great city. I'll do my best to answer. All aboard, time to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you wish it was your cruise day too. Now let's get this party started. What day is it? Cruise day! Cruise day! Holy grail! This way to the party! Do you see your bag? Nope, me neither. Okay, time to go. That was the quickest gangway ever! Mackenzie, are you ready? Yeah. We're going to jump on the ship, here we go! <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna prank something. <laughs> but not today. Welcome aboard the Celebrity Constellation. Wow! Like lavender? Lemongrass. Lemongrass. Well, aren't we fancy? Thank you. First things first, since this is the first sailing, our rooms are ready and it's a little bit later in the afternoon. It's currently one o'clock. So we head over to our rooms and our rooms are ready. Our key card is right on the door, which is handy. So we have our printed express pass and then you get your physical card right on the door. We're gonna drop off our bags. It's stateroom 8043 aboard this celebrity constellation walking right on in this stateroom. Woo wee, let's take a look and show you around on board. We are on the starboard side of the ship here. In the forward, we have our bathroom to our left, but a little bit more exciting things before the bathroom first. We have a closet to the right, walking right on in. We have the bed, how nice. Oh, look, all of our information, connect to the Wi-Fi, dining stuff, good things for us to know, getting us excited. We have light switches. Oh, look how big this nightstand is. You can actually store a lot in there, that's cool. Your reading lamps. Oh, you can put your paperwork here nice put those cruise compasses there and over here these mirrors too huh we have the tv oh a little snack oh 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 look how cool this is oh my gosh the mini fridge stocked look at that we got some chardonnay camion sans blanc what do we have all right here is your mini fridge uh, does not include in any beverage package for you, just to note. So we'll keep that in mind. Additional storage along with our pool towels up here. Lovely hooks here. And then we have, let's see how much storage place. Oh, okay, we have our safe. Look at all these drawers. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Love it. This little bag for us. Ooh, laundry bag in case you want to throw any laundry in the cruise. Lots of drawers there. That's great. Open this one up. Robes! Ah, uh, yes, I don't have to ask for a robe. I do love wearing a robe on the cruise. Have a little coffee in your robe on your balcony. Look at that. Plenty of hangers. This little hang down bar in case you want to hang anything at a lower level. Very convenient for you. Additional space up top and on the bottom. Moving right on in here. So, room to move around on the bed here, which is great. We have mirrors off floor to ceiling mirrors here on the wall and you have your phone on this side and another lamp there very very nice some artwork the curtains for the balcony we have this desktop here let's see or what is this called table here with your chair some little nook space we do have a little welcome aboard gift, and this is from the captain. How nice is that? Some champagne, or wine rather, 
they are providing you with healthy at sea masks so very nice that they give us that and some hand sanitizers we have lights for outside as well and then our our balcony take a look and breathe in that sea air so look at this we do have a little headrests on our chairs here too chairs and a stool this is our view here on deck eight so uh no obstructed view here down underneath us we're currently in port tampa bay so we have you know brackish waters which is the combination of sea and uh, fresh water here so kind of cool to be in port tampa bay for the first sailing very excited to be here out on this balcony and enjoy this lovely room and the bathroom we have a quick little step up and we have storage space here on the counter underneath you have some shelving the hair dryer tissues that's a lot of tissues products and your towels with the shower curtain it's a really big shower actually look at that and there you have it and we also have a little couch with a table here. So we can, when I order my room service, I can put it right here. Little seating area as well. And don't mind my bag. Look how nice cheese and crackers and wine from the master, AKA the captain. How nice. Thank you. Let's dig in. Wow. Woo hoo hoo. Now we're ready to get the party started. Just completed our muster drill, came to our muster station, which is actually in the theater here. It's super pretty, by the way. And uh, bang, bang, boom, the guy like offered me his vest because I was like seven short, one long. I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Cause that's when it blows the horn when it's an emergency. So he was joking that I can take his job. Not today, maybe another day. Anywho, got that taken care of. So now rest assured our names won't be called over the uh, loudspeaker, no embarrassment there. So ready to go and let's go explore some more. As expected, the buffet is busy when you first get on board your cruise. A great option for some lunch. It's rather busy, but it looks good. Let's take a look. Hello. Rice salads, all your cold salads, and a pasta salad, Waldorf salad, ooh. Some lovely entrees, herb roasted chicken, beef stew. We also have a carving station of some roast beef. Look at this cheese station. Speak to my soul, oh my goodness. Charcuterie, salami, fresh fruit grilled chicken breast ooh there we go some caesar salad additional asian delights please and a little bit of the pad thai please uh, pad thai please thank you so much all right folks got our food and mckenzie picked out the best spot take a look there's holes in the floor where we can see down. We're on a like little cantilevered uh, outside section here. This is super cool. Uh, don't look down. Wow, 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 wow. This is amazing. How did you not notice this right away? Hey, guacamole, look at those. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow. Raspberry puff pastries, chocolate cream de pot, Victoria cake. Welcome back, AKA welcome home. It is that time, sail away from Port Tampa Bay. How cool to see the city behind us here. We actually had a water cannon salute as we're pulling out into the channel. So super cool, actually just finished up a live stream. So the replay will be up if you wanna catch that as well. So now it's time to freshen up, get some warmer clothes on and get ready for dinner. Let's go. Turn. 
Yeah, Chris Hart. Thank you for the water salute. Oh, they're doing donuts. <laughs> Who knew you could do donuts on water with water cannons? <laughs> That's awesome. Are they getting dizzy yet? <laughs> really? Wow, that's fun. One of the best activities a cruiser can do on the first day of the cruise is just go off and explore. Getting yourself acquainted with the ship is not only a fun way to see your home at sea, but learning your bearings and helping you not feel as directionally lost for the next few days. So that's what I like to do. I wandered and I stumbled into some specialty dining restaurants like Lumiere, and how about those gorgeous window seats? Dinner with a view. From there I found my favorite elevator on the ship, who knew I would have a favorite elevator, but I did. These midship elevators were odd shaped but provided incredible views of the outside. Next I found the Emporium, which has the art gallery, and that area also has the future cruise desk, the shopping, and additionally later I stumbled on into the casino. I hold it off testing my fate with Lady Luck, but I did hear the first night of the cruise is good for big payouts. Let me know in the comments if you can confirm or deny that theory. Now it's time for dinner in the San Marco dining room. Time to eat, bon appetit, have a look at these menus and let me know what you would like to order. is the wild mushroom soup. This is the spinach and ricotta ravioli. So here we have the dessert menu. I forgot that they actually have the dessert menu as separate and not on the main uh, menu here. And also something we noticed that we actually have a menu and there's no QR codes at all. Uh, but tonight I am going to opt for the Dolce de Leche and uh, try that as my dessert. The ravioli was really good as well. So we just finished dinner in the main dining room. I really enjoyed my dessert. That's the taste in my mouth that I'm leaving the dining room with. I had something I've never had before. It was a Dolce de Leche. So it was almost like a uh, creme brulee with the caramelized topping, but it had the uh, Dolce de Leche flavor. It was a little bit darker on the inside and I really enjoyed that. And it had like a flavoring of like, it wasn't coffee flavored, but it almost tasted that way. So really enjoyable there, dinner with the ravioli as well. Everything was tasty and the soup warmed us up. I even wearing a sweater because it was so cold from uh, sail away and being out. And then we actually caught sailing under the bridge as well. So I kind of almost forgot about it when we were sitting in there and we did actually get to see it from the windows. So that was fun and it was lit up really pretty. And uh, a lot of people got up to take photos of it as we passed under. So memorable for sailing out of Tampa Bay. So I think it's about time that we properly introduce Mackenzie! Ah! So we realized that we just kind of started the vlog and I kind of forgot that... I was here? That, no! <laughs> that you guys don't know who she is. You haven't been in any of my other videos ever. No. So this is my dear friend Mackenzie. We are childhood besties. So besties now, right? Yeah. Have I been replaced? No, we <laughs> Did I stutter? Anywho, um... Welcome to the vlog, folks, and I hope you're enjoying. By the way, this is Mackenzie. She's amazing. And we're cruising together. This is a girl's trip. Anywho, girl's trip. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, excited to be on this celebrity constellation here out of Tampa. Pulling away, that sail away was pretty cool. Uh, got even cooler going under the, the bridge, right? Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Super pretty. 
And uh, I guess if we want to see it again and be out on the deck, we'll have to be up really early when we return. <laughs> so no promises there. But we're actually in the theater getting ready for the uh, comedian. I say it up and down all the time. It's my favorite activity on the cruise ships is to see comedy shows. So I'm excited for the evening and we'll see where the cruise takes us. And by the way, Mackenzie, have you cruised yet since the pandemic? I have not, no. Ooh, so excited to see some changes. Yep. You've cruised before. Yep. It's yep. A whole new world. A whole new world. So cheers to the show. Did you miss seeing live music during lockdowns? I sure did. Even though we came to the theater for a comedy show, we got a nice warm welcome from the Celebrity Constellation Band and the cruise director. The comedian provided us with some good chuckle belly laughs and how nice it was to learn this was his first show back performing since the pandemic. Oh my gosh, look at this. More chocolates from the captain. How incredible. I want to say like incredible in French because the comedian was so funny. He was talking all about France. We also have chocolates on the pillow too, which is really nice. Welcome to the silent disco. Get ready to boogie. Now I recognize how incredibly silly I look dancing the fool, but this is just one of my favorite activities. You grab some headphones and you get ready to jam out on one of three stations that is playing the beats that are to your liking. Every once in a while, take the headphones off and hear everyone singing along to the different songs. Trust me, it's a hoot. Did you know that your cruise cabin can actually be split into two twin beds instead of a queen? We opted in for this and asked our room attendant to make the switch for us. Now, if you're ever sharing a cabin, you can actually have your travel advisor put in those requests ahead of time too. And that's why we had to stand waiting outside our cabin to have them fix it because we forgot to ask for this. So, Mackenzie and I don't want to snuggle no matter how close we are. Yeah. So we're having our beds be split apart. So unfortunately, no spooning. I was going to be the big spoon. Anywho, um, <laughs> just like the funniest interaction on the elevator. Uh, we just got out of the silent disco and it was singing because he's like, oh, is that one of the songs? And I was like, no, that was just a song in my head. So of course and, I had to uh, join in and contribute. Yeah. And then, so we're singing the song I was singing. It's Friday night. And then of course we were alone and then we weren't. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so every great story ends, we were alone and then we weren't. Um, and then, so this guy comes up and I was like, well, you've been, you've been warned, you know, get on the elevator if you dare. Um, and he said, um, I, I know you say I have tight pants on, but it's not a petting zoo. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, and then, it, then it got really weird. It was the most awkward bread. Thank God he got off really quick. And then he got off and he said, I'm on stage every night tonight. <laughs> So we're wondering if he's a performer and if we're gonna see him like perhaps he's tomorrow night's comedian then it'll be really awkward so or he's a passenger we don't know <laughs> well, but it's not, not a petting zoo but it way. is not a petting zoo we've learned that the end spoiler alert the gentleman was another passenger which of course then we saw multiple times throughout the cruise from there on we had such a fun first day to kick off this girl's trip Consider subscribing if you haven't already and thumbs up the video if you enjoyed the vlog. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for our next day and until next time, ciao for now.